A few years back, Minecraft videos were a lot simpler. You'd watch a group of friends play the game, something funny would happen, they'd laugh, you'd laugh, and that was basically the whole video. But times have changed. The era of best moments and montages has largely been replaced by storytelling and creative challenges. In this video, I'll guide you through the essential steps to create a standout Minecraft video, giving you the best chance to make it go viral. But before we dive into recording, let's start with the first step, planning. Ask yourself one crucial question. Why are you making this video? What's your purpose? Think of this as standing at a crossroads. Down one path lies the classic style of gaming videos. Just hanging out with friends, playing casually, and editing the video into a montage. It's easy and fun, but unless you're already a big name like Tommy in it, these videos might not attract much attention. The other path, less worn but more rewarding, leads to story-driven content. These videos are often challenge-based or explore unique aspects of the game. They require more effort, a heavy use of voiceover, and most importantly, a compelling narrative to keep viewers hooked. This is the modern approach to Minecraft content. And it's the path that we're exploring today, so let's take a closer look. When planning your video, there's a lot of room for creativity. Maybe you're attempting a speedrun, surviving 100 days in our horror mode, or testing a quirky game mechanic. Write down your ideas in a Google Doc, watch other videos for inspiration, and choose an idea that excites you. Once you have a concept, focus on these three critical questions. What will happen in the video? Why should people care? And how will it unfold in a way that keeps the viewer engaged? Having clear answers to these questions will make the next step gameplay much smoother. Now that you've got your idea, it's time to record. Use reliable software to capture your gameplay. Personally, I recommend OBS Studio. It's free, versatile, and keeps file sizes manageable. Once you've recorded your session with a video concept in mind, import the footage into your editing software to start crafting your story. But before we go over to the next step, let me tell you something. Cutting your long videos into short engaging clips and posting them all across social media is one of the most efficient ways to attract traffic. But let's be honest, editing can be a huge time sink, and that's where Vizzer, the sponsor of today's video, comes in. Vizzard is an AI-powered tool that transforms any long-form video into 10-plus viral clips in minutes. It's efficient, easy to use, and perfect for creators who want to focus on content rather than hours of editing. So let me introduce you to Viral Clips, Vizzard's automatic feature that analyzes spoken content to create shareable shorts in just one click. It's great for interviews, podcasts, or any speech-driven content. But if you want more control, Vizzard's Spark 1.0 takes it to the next level. Spark can analyze visuals, sounds, and even emotions so you can find specific moments tailored to your needs. Whether it's a dramatic reaction or a fun highlight spark makes it happen so here's how easy it is log into Vizzer and navigate to your workspace on the main page upload your video or enter a video link and select the video's language you will then be directed to a page where you can choose between generating clips by AI or transcribing and manually editing it so for this example let's generate clips by AI from there you can choose either one click viral shorts or to clip it your way which allows for more customization and that's it so if you're serious about growing your audience give Vizzer a try you'll find my link in the description to try Vizzer today and also if you use my creator code PQ trick you also get 5% off on all payments within the first 12 months and I'd say that's a pretty good deal anyways let's go over to step 3 editing. For this, I use CapCut Desktop. It's very simple and beginner friendly. But personally, I recommend DaVinci Resolve because it's way more powerful and like OBS, completely free. Now, if you are creating an old school montage, all you need to do is trim your clips and string together the best moments. But for a modern Minecraft video, voiceovers are key. Before recording your voiceover, plan out what you're going to say. Your goal is to clearly and concisely guide viewers through your story. Start by highlighting the most exciting or important moments from your footage, then write a script that connects those moments into a cohesive narrative. Avoid using voiceovers to pad out boring sections. It won't make them more interesting. Instead, focus on pacing and momentum to keep your viewers engaged. This process will take time, and you'll likely have to cut a lot of footage. But in the end, you'll have a video that's smooth, engaging, and ready for the next step, the introduction. Your intro is arguably the most important part of your video. It needs to quickly tell viewers what the video is about, why it's worth watching, and how the story will unfold. Imagine someone scrolling through YouTube, bored, and looking for something to watch. Your intro has to grab their attention and make them Thing. This looks interesting, I'm sticking around. To achieve this, use eye-catching effects, smooth animations, and polished motion graphics. Your goal is to make viewers feel like they're watching something high quality from the very start. A strong intro sets the tone for the entire video and ensures your audience is interested in the story. Once your intro is ready, it's time for step 5, enhancing your gameplay footage. Here is where you can use editing techniques to make your viewers engage. For example, add zoom-ins to emphasize your key moments. Smooth transitions are the best, and you can achieve these using keyframes. You can use subtitles to highlight 
highlight funny dialogue or clarify moments that aren't clear. Get creative with animations to make them stand out. You can incorporate transitions to maintain flow, but don't overdo it. Too many can be distracting. You should choose music carefully. It sets the tone and the pace of your video. Minecraft soundtrack is a safe bet because it's copyright free. And last but not least, sound effects are just as crucial. They add polish to transitions and animations, but keep them subtle to avoid overwhelming your audience. And one last tip, don't be afraid to let your personality shine through. Not every pause or moment of silence has to be cut. Authenticity is what makes your content unique and relatable. Step 6 is about reviewing your work. Once you've finished editing, take a breath before watching your video again with fresh eyes. Pretend you're a viewer seeing it for the first time. Does the intro grab your attention? Does the story make sense? Are you entertained from start to finish? Use this feedback to make final adjustments. Finally, we reach step 7, uploading your video. Craft a compelling title and create an eye-catching thumbnail to make people want to click. And once everything is ready, hit upload. And your micro video is complete. And before I end the video, I want to thank my YouTube members, Takozma and Quicksilver. If you also want to become a member, all you have to do is press the join button down below. It really helps me out a ton. Bye!